Commonlet is a free tool that you can use for language arts and um, there's all sorts of different features with it. Um, the free version right here gives you access to a free library and uh, the Commonlet 360 curriculum, um, but there are other types of tools that you can use for that. So let's check out what it looks like. So if I go right here, I can browse content, and when I go and browse the library, you can see things are organized by grade level. You can do um, different types of uh, texts or themes. You can search by lexile range, even genres. Um, you have themes, different types of themes, um, and literary devices. You can even uh, focus on that. So if you had a specific tool that you wanted to look at or specific type of literary device that you wanted to look at, you could go in and do that. So for um, one other thing that you can do too is you can open up the text. So this is a fifth grade text, it's a poem. Um, and you can share this with students. So when you go through, you can assign this to a class. Um, so I can make an assignment. And first of all, I would want to, I could create my class from Google Classroom, or I could make my, uh, my own manually and assign this to students, right? So let's say for instance, I wanted to go in here and I'm just gonna call it Matt's class and we're gonna just do, make it an ELA class. And so here we go. So students can actually join by going through and just using this link and this code. Now when you go in here, you're gonna see that these are the different assignments. So when I go and I add an assignment, I can go to the Common Library. So right here, I'm gonna to go to two braids and I really like this, this uh, I'm gonna assign it. So I'll go right here and I'm gonna assign it. Now, what I can do is I can uh, assign it to specific classes. I can do individual students if I wanted to differentiate instruction, or I could give it to the class as a whole. Um, I also have right here types of questions that I can assign and when it's going to be due. So let's make it due on the 29th. All right, now this is what's really neat about this is that what students are going to be able to do is they're gonna be able to read the text, but it blurs out um, text until you answer a reading comprehension question, right? Uh, so this will be a really neat way for students to be able to go through and analyze the text. But the other thing too that you have available is an annotation tool, you have a translation tool, um, there's all sorts of things that you have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit assign um, and I'm going to show you what this link looks like just so that you can kind of see from the student's perspective what it's going to look like. So. You can see right here, uh, this is my dashboard. It's going to show me like if students have completed it. There's a grading page right here with my students' names, but this is the preview of what the text will look like. Uh, so I can, like I said, I can customize my text to meet my needs. I can read it out loud. So I can say, On my first day of kindergarten, mama weaves two braids so tightly as if they will never let go. Too tight, I fuss pull at my temples. And so uh, right here uh, has a question. Okay, and the question is, how does the speaker feel? And you can notice I can't read the rest of the poem until I answer that question. So I'm gonna say the braids are uncomfortable and then look what happens. It will actually open up the next part of the tool. Now, if I also needed to um, you know, translate this, um, I could actually translate it as well. I could download this as a PDF. So there's multiple ways to be able to use this tool. And that's what's great about it is it gives students an opportunity to show what they know um, and learn text uh, in ways that meet their needs. So I'm gonna go right back to Common Lit. I'm gonna just show you also there another feature uh, that is really helpful as well, and that is this. So when I go to Two Braids and I open this up, you're gonna see that this is the teacher view of things. I can download the PDF, but I can also look for paired text. So I can look for other texts that can help represent content. So right here, this is a Navajo example. Um, this is an African-American example. This is uh, stories for dinner, um, related media. This also helps you because um, one of the things that Marshall McLuhan used to say is that the medium is the message. So that allows you to see actual video examples of the text um, so that you can build that background knowledge and help students. There's also the answer key right here. This helps you with um, going through and, and um, 
and, and actually um, seeing the answers, you gotta type the word no posting in order to view the answers. So you as a teacher can kind of see this. The other thing that's really neat about this is that it will show you academic standards that these questions are going to address, which are great for um, planning. And then last but not least, there's a parent guide. So this right here is very helpful. Um, if say for instance, you were sending this home for homework, you wanted to give uh, parents background knowledge, and also ways to um, help their student. And once again, it's free. You just sign up for it, and uh, it, it's there's more paid features, um, obviously, with this, but it's a great free tool.